Yoo-hoo! If any of you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, because it would really help us out a lot, because we are very close to 1k subscribers. Please help us reach our goal. It would really mean a lot to us. So please consider subscribing, leaving a like, hit that notification bell, and anyways, enjoy the video. So yeah, you're number one. Yahoo! Well guys, I'm doing another video on Paul, and for good reasons, Paul has taken for the worst turn ever. And I know I said that I would not make any more videos about Paul, but there are some horrible things that Paul has done that I'm not going to let him get away with, okay? Because Paul, even though that he's a bait channel, but every horrible things he's done, and every horrible tweets he's sent, is just unforgivable. And I will get right to that in a moment. Paul's hatred towards cartoons has gotten more worse than ever. Like seriously, for real. Paul, he's been insulting the Owl House, you know, fandom and community. And he's been also attacking other cartoon fans who are basically, you know, fans of, you know, animated movies and all that stuff. And also, Paul did send some some tweets about, you know, about him wanting people to support the Disney live-action remakes more than, you know, original animated movies that people would enjoy. Like, for real, Paul, this is exactly what a goddamn man-child does. Grow the fuck up. But still, yeah. Paul, he's like, oh, please, don't watch, yo, know, the new movie Wish. Go watch the live-action movies instead, because you're way better, because animation needs to be canceled for good on Disney. <laughs> so yeah, basically, Paul is saying that we should all watch the live-action Disney remakes instead. But there's a problem with that, Paul. No one would ever want to watch a soulless cash grab that's uninspiring, unoriginal. People want something that is peak. And also, Paul, yeah, the live-action Little Mermaid movie is basically in danger right now. Because ever since the, you know, the Mario Bros, you know, movie came out, literally that movie has been completely blasting Disney so very hard. That literally, yeah, possibly Disney's live-action movies are going to be failing because of the Mario Bros movie. And the Mario Bros movie has one day, has once again came as number one, just like a Mario. So anyways, yeah, Paul e just calls Owl House a show for babies. Yeah, for, for babies, huh? You know, the show has, you know, a lot of dark elements to it, even, you know, character deaths and, you know, dark backstories and all that stuff. And yeah, for babies, huh? Looks like the real baby here is Paul, secretly, He's disguised as, as an adult male, and he's secretly a baby in the inside because he can't stop, you know, being a man-child because he can't learn to grow up. And this is not the only thing that Paul does. Paul is also a toxic sports fan. Like, for real. Like, basically, if people are not a fan of sports or don't like sports, basically, Paul will, will say that people that don't like sports are considered weird to him. So, basically, yeah, Paul... He just can't respect other people's opinions at all. Because if people are not a fan of sports, then what's the problem with that? If people don't like something, then that's okay with it. But if you make a big deal out of it, you're just going to be, you know, making yourself a big giant ass at this moment. Because that's what you are, Paul. You're a big, gigantic ass. And Paul is the most saltiest person ever. He has seen my criticism video on him and already he hates it but hey that's what i'm good for and basically yeah paul even you know 
even does all this stuff just because, you know, he even said to himself that, you know, he just, you know, just does this just to spread his opinions. So basically, he's spreading his opinions by attacking other people that have opinions. Yeah. Paul, no one's gonna be buying your bullshit. Because this is coming from the literal toxic hypocrite that can't let anything go and keeps lying and makes shit up all the time. And also, basically, yeah, you got two of your accounts suspended, Paul. Because basically, yeah. Because basically, Twitter even agrees that what you're doing is absolute ludicrous and bullshit. And this is not the only time that basically Paul is using this, I'm stating my opinions, you know, excuse. He's done this multiple of times, and basically, yeah, no one's gonna be buying his bullshit. People keep telling him to stop, because basically, yeah. So yeah, Paul, if you're stating your opinions, then how do you explain all of this? Insulting people doesn't count as an opinion. It just makes you an annoying douchebag. And also, yeah, Paul also takes people's, you know, their whole entire tweets out of context. I'm not joking. He does. He does this all the time. He literally takes people's comments and tweets out of context to make himself more smarter and superior than others. But, but really, he's just, you know, he's just an egotistic asshole. And do you want to know what else, you know, horrible things that Paul has done? Oh boy. Basically, whenever people make fan art of Owl House, basically, Paul will insult anyone that makes fan art of Owl House. Seriously. Like, he has a hatred towards this show just like, so he could just, you know, insult people's arts and drawings just because they're supporting the show because they like the show. Yeah. Real big of you, Paul. Real big of you. Owl House is not the only show that literally Paul always just despises and just literally hates and insults all the time. Basically, he insults Ghost, like, you know, the ghost in Molly McGee and even insults, you know, insults Dead End Paranormal Park and other Netflix animation shows and Disney animated shows and blah, blah, blah. The list goes on and even, you know, insults animated movies and stuff like that because Paul, he's just doing this for attention because basically, yeah, because basically he's a crybaby loser that has no bitches at all. And what makes this more hypocritical and sad is that Paul always agrees with people that don't like animation. Because basically, Paul is a sad, pathetic loser that he's also agreeing with other sad, pathetic losers. How predictable. And also, Paul defends Mindy Kaling for her bad decisions. And basically, yeah, if you don't know who Mindy Kaling is, basically, she did, she's, you know, an actress that basically played in The Office and in Inside Out as well. And she's also the one that made the the unforgiving and the most eyesoaring show of all time, Velma. Basically, yeah, Paul is defending Mindy Kaling because of this show, which, yeah, which doesn't surprise me at all. Paul is this desperate for attention that he's just defending someone over, you know, a garbage show that literally has terrible writing and terrible characters and is just boring and subpar as well. So basically, yeah, Paul defends Mindy Kaling for, you know, no reason. And to be honest, Mindy Kaling, she deserves to be criticized because Mindy Kaling, she's not a good person at all. It's even been confirmed that she has sexually harassed her workers and basically try to blackmail them to get away with it. So basically, yeah, Paul, is this really the type of person you're going to be defending? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe Paul's just defending her because basically, yeah, Paul's into, you know, scumbag, egotistic assholes because that's basically what Paul is. And Paul is not going to stop at all. He's just going to still be a petty, whiny crybaby about it. And he's also stalking, you know, people as well. He has stalked many of cartoon fans and animation fans and minors on Twitter. He has nonstop stalked and harassed them and 
it just goes to show that literally Paul cannot let this sh go. If you ever support an animated show, Paul will non-stop harass and stalk you. Like, literally, this man is like a leech that's literally, like, on the bottom of your toe. That's just gonna keep sucking on to you and just gonna keep, you know, just gonna keep making your life into a living hell because basically he just cannot let shit go because basically he's a petty man-child that literally just won't let anything go. And to top off the cherry, basically, Paul has also literally, okay, basically, when someone, when there was an artist on Twitter that basically had a profile with, you know, with every fandoms and including with Owl House in their profile pic, literally, literally Paul has completely became a man child, like more of a man child than he already is. Like he's a full grown child actually. He's not a man at all. He's a full child. Basically, basically he jumped in con into conclusions and basically said that that the person right here is a 97 mental illness and is banned from most public places which Paul has no evidence at all he just literally had a glimpse of that profile pic and be like yeah no 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 f this bitch she, she out of here she out of here like yeah that's basically Paul that's basically Paul's logic right here basically if someone likes Owl House basically he'll jump into conclusions and just basically you know just basically make them look like you know like psychotic you know assholes or something like that but basically yeah this is basically the type of shit Paul does for a living he jumps into conclusions takes everyone's whole entire profiles and their comments and tweets out of context and everything they say out of context to make himself more superior and he'll do anything to get attention, even if it would have to support scumbags, or be a transphobic asshole, or body shame people, or be a homophobic. And that's right, yeah, literally, Paul has became a homophobic asshole. Basically, when, okay, basically, with the LGBTQ community were absolutely happy about, you know, Hunter and and Willow being part of it. Basically, Paul just literally decided to be a salty child about this. Basically, he decided to be a like an absolute homophobe about this. Basically, he just, you know, in, insulted Dana Terrace just because she, she, her show is just supporting, you know, the LGB, you know, TQ community and basically yeah that just goes to show that Paul yeah he doesn't give a sh about anyone's interest at all he just cares about himself and all I have to say is that Paul he needs to grow the hell up because this right here is what a child does and I know I'm repeating this but it's true this is literally Paul acting like a child like an absolute butthurt salty ass child like he is the biggest hypocrite, the biggest lying narcissistic hypocrite on the internet, and I've never seen this, th like, I've never seen someone this much of a scumbag in my life. I knew Paul was horrible, but I never knew he would turn for the worst. He keeps making more lies, more excuses, just so he could avoid getting more hate, and he doesn't understand why he's getting hate, but let's be honest. It is very understandable why he's getting hate, because, Paul, if you don't want to get more hate, maybe you should stop doing this type of bullcrap to other people and actually grow as a person. Or just get the hell off the internet, for crying out loud. Because you got suspended twice, for a good reason. And the reason why that Paul hates Owl House is because that basically... Basically, the Owl House fans are basically toxic, annoying, and basically, Paul hates the show because it's overrated. Paul, okay, I can agree that the Owl House fans could sometimes be toxic, but let's be honest. Not all fandoms are perfect. Every fandoms are toxic. They have some, like, they always have... A toxic part 
to the community and fandom. Not everything is always, you know, sunshine and rainbow and, you know, happiness, okay? Because there's always toxic fans. You can't expect, you know, everything to not be toxic. You just pretend and act like Owl House is the only thing that is toxic. Yeah, Paul, this is basically you jumping into conclusions again. And besides, Paul, do you think that you're way better than the, you know, than the toxic Owl House fans? Yeah, I think not. Even Paul also insults Golemro del Toro all the time. Just because Golemro del Toro, he respects animation, and animation has been treated like dirt for no reason by, you know, by scumbags in suits that are basically, you know, basically sucking each other's dicks all the time and basically like, mm, mm, yeah, animation, mm, 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 that's a good dick, mm, mm, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, animation, it's only for kids, not for adults. Anyways, let me get back to sucking. Mm -hmm. And also for Paul's response to, you know, to his tweet that he's not homophobic and basically he's just, you know, saying that basically if people make their characters into an LGBTQ characters, basically it just shows that, you know, every gay characters are just, you know, fans who would be obsessed over it just to hide, you know, bad writing. Yeah, Paul, what other show do you think does that as well? Yeah, this is just you being a hypocrite as always. You just cannot admit your wrongs and the bad things you've done and you are an egotistic, narcissistic asshole. You just cannot let sh go at all. Literally, you just, you know, you just jump into conclusions and basically take people's, you know, tweets and messages out of context just to avoid people hating you because you rightfully deserve it, Paul. Because the amount of scumbag things you've done, because you think this stuff is funny, apparently. Yeah, you're not funny, Paul. You're just a sad, pathetic clown that's, you know, that just got dropped off from, you know, from clown school. So basically, yeah, Paul. There's a thing called growing up. And also, speaking of jumping into conclusions, basically Paul doesn't do his research either. Basically, he was happy that the Owl House was ending, and also Pokemon is ending. Paul, for the last time, who threw a rock at your head and gave you brain damage? Pokemon is never ending, for crying out loud. Period. Because Pokemon is a big franchise. This is a, a literal, you know, million dollar franchise you're talking about. Actually, a billion dollar franchise, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, this, this franchise is the biggest franchise that literally shaped the whole entire world. Like, yeah, you just can't expect it to be like having an ending and bam, it all poofs away easily. But no, no, the Pokemon franchise is literally the most popular, most beloved franchise that gave the world a big impact. So basically, yeah. And also, the Pokemon anime is not ending at all. There's literally a new, you know, a new Pokemon anime with new Pokemon characters. So yeah, Paul, if you wouldn't have, you know, jump into conclusions like a, you know, like a whiny crybaby all the time and do your research, maybe people would not, you know, would not basically, you know, keep insulting you all the time and be, you know, and basically, you know, expose you of being a lying narcissistic asshole that because you basically keep insulting people for no reason and you literally use opinions as an excuse. Even though that you disrespect other people's opinions because you can't let anything go and literally you just don't like what people like because basically you're baiting people for attention because you're a sad, pathetic nobody. And also, Paul, looks like you're never going to get any bitches. Boo-hoo, so sad. So basically, yeah, this is my response to all of this and basically Paul's, you know, non-stop Tom fuckery and his nonsense. So basically, yeah, please report and block Paul if you guys are on social media. Because if he replies or responds to you, report and block him. I repeat this. Report and block him, okay? Just please, because basically, yeah, Paul, 
literally, he would do anything for attention, even if it would mean for him to, you know, harass people and minors and basically stalk people, and even, you know, even decides to be a body shamer, a transphobe, and even a homophobe as well. Yeah, he will literally come up with any lies and bull excuses, so I would be careful, guys. And also, I bet that Paul just defends Mindy Kaling because he simps for her hard. You know what, this is basically what Paul Reynolds would do. <laughs> yeah, you don't insult Mindy Kaling like that, yeah, uh, uh, go screw yourself. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go look at my photos of Mindy Kaling. Uh, Mindy Kaling, I love you so much. Uh, I love your show. Uh, I want to suck on those milkies, those titties. Mm. Oh, yeah, come to me, Mindy. Oh, I love you. Oh, yeah, I'm, my name's Paul Reynolds, and I love you because, oh, man, because you give me a massive erection because you're just like me. Anyone that's just like me just oh, gives me a massive erection because I'm a lonely bastard that doesn't have a life or a girlfriend at all because people hate me because I'm an asshole. Oh, yeah, I love you, Mindy Killing. Ugh. So basically, yeah. Paul needs to learn how to grow up and actually be like a normal human being. Because this is just him being a petty, salty, crybaby asshole. So basically, yeah, this is basically my whole entire video with this situation and what's been going on. So basically, yeah, be careful around with Paul, guys, okay? Because literally, I just wanted to make this second video just to get this over with. Because there are a lot of things that I just cannot let Paul get away with. You know, I know I promised not to make videos about him, but still, the amount of horrible things Paul has done, yeah, it's about time that Paul actually, you know, knows his place. But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and basically, yeah, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys for 700 subscribers, and I hope we reach up to, to 800 subscribers one of these days and get up to 1k subscribers as well. But anyways, thank you guys for being awesome, and basically, yeah, I hope we reach up to 1k subscribers before 2024, okay? That is our main goal. So yeah, please subscribe, please leave a like, and I'll definitely see you guys next time, and goodbye. Also, my Netflix criticism video is coming really soon. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.